Good morning. My alarm did not go off letting me know that it was three minutes before the hour. So I'm just a little bit later getting on, but I'll look forward to seeing all of you as you get online and join us in our live thing. So I'm going to use some of my oils as always. This is my playtime. So first thing I'm going to do, I feel that I really, really require extra grounding today. So I'm going to use my regular sacred, Franken, sacred mountain and breathe it in, intending to totally, totally become better grounded, connected with the source above and connected below. I'm going to add to it cedar wood, that big tree that it that is so very, very strong and has that ability to keep us better grounded. I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful week this week. Mine has been really, really super because we have spent the entire week kind of resting and rejuvenating after our trip to Singapore. In Singapore, Stephen takes care of me and I require a lot. And here we have a whole lot of people who are constantly taking care of me and I appreciate them more than you have any idea. So we both have been enjoying this week and nurturing ourselves. So I'm gonna apply the Idaho Balsam Fir. Now the Northern Lights Black Spruce and the Idaho Blue Spruce, all three anchor this energy of nurturing of self and others and finding that perfect balance of giving and receiving. So isn't that great? So it looks like it's pretty much the top of the hour, so I will get started actually on what we're going to talk about today. Happy Sunday and welcome to our Facebook Live. Today I talked, um, I mentioned that we would be talking in our Grow Actively ref, um, Refining Yourself about what you allow will continue. Wow. What you allow is what will continue. Why is it that we totally often forget to pay attention? That's what this is all about. So I wrote two notes to myself in my journal today that I wanted to make certain that I said to each of you. And that is that this, this week is about grow actively reassessing yourself. Why is that important? Those of you who started with us in, would you believe, nine months ago with the New Life Challenge in March of 2019, embarked upon that 30-day transformational process. And we had a daily checklist that we gave you, and that was for the very basics. And those who did stick it through, actually go through the 30 days, realized that it's really not about 30 days. It's about creating new patterns, new ways of doing things, and eliminating some of the other things. So we all have the same number of hours, minutes, seconds in every single day, don't we? And it's how we spend them that determines what we do next. Everything is about choice. So as we choose to realign our focus, we can pay closer attention perhaps to making better choices. Would you agree? So. We started out, as I said, with a very basic set of things to talk about, to do with our morning alignment process and our evening integration, which is part of that daily checklist that we, that 
is written in the journal. And we're just adding a little bit more things for refinement as we go along. Now, we're not going to go through every one of them right this minute because it would take too long. So what I'm doing in these Facebook Lives is just enter, enter, um, starting out with a few more things each week, adding to them. And in the Journey to book, it will all be clearly laid out for you. And it, the book is still up here. It hasn't gotten to the computer yet, but it's in the process. So, what is the most important thing for us to do at all times and to be aware of whether we have this in our lives? If you ask me, and if those of you who have been doing the New Life Challenge or the New Life Journey know that our connection with the Source is our most valuable thing, that that is where we receive our guidance, our own personal guidance directly from the Source. So, number one, checking in is all about making sure that that connection is clear. So that's the first thing. Am I connected? Many times you may find that, um, that while you feel that you're connected, something has happened to that connection. There's been some interference and what you're hearing may not actually be truth for you. No one other than you knows what your own truth is. So this is just a way of reminding ourselves to check in. And I do this, Stephen and I do this with our kinesiology, or he loves the pendulum even more. Whatever makes you happy and that you have confidence in. Are you connected with the source? And then to ask, are there any agreements that you have made, consciously or unconsciously, that would allow there to be an interference in that connection? Remember, this is your lifeline. This is your life. And your guidance from the source is extremely important at all times. Now, many of us feel that when we get up in the morning, if we do that alignment, morning alignment process, we are set for the day. And then if we're really diligent, we do that evening integration process. But what happens in those oh, 16 or 18 hours in between? That can totally, totally change outcomes for you. We may think up here that we're doing things and in actuality, it may be very distorted. So, the next thing that I ask is, am I clear? And this is sometimes really, you know, a surprise to find out that I'm not. Because as we go about our day, we're taking on things and or losing parts of ourselves, giving it away either willingly or unknowingly. So it's important for us to keep track of that. Would you agree? How long does it take to just take a few deep breaths and, and test? This is where the more we do our muscle testing, the more confidence we have. And just quickly test. So what is it? You know, what, what is our energy level on a level on a, on a scale of one to ten? Are we at a hundred percent? If we're going out, it's very important for us to be at a hundred percent. Now some of the things that we do do not require our full attention, but managing our energy field does require our full attention. So it while we are doing other things, we may not be able to give it our full attention, so it becomes a matter of repetition. The more often we check in with ourselves, the better off we are. Would you agree? So, I'm going to actually apply some of the things because this sounds like work. It doesn't 
have to be work. It can be fun. And if you haven't gotten your bottle of fun, you may choose to do that very, very soon. I have a lot of bottles of fun waiting for me because this is something that has never really, for most of my life, fun was not something that was associated with me. The only thing that I have in common or had in common with the word fun was the first letter of my name because Francis is a workaholic. Perhaps I should say was a workaholic because I'm learning to have fun and it's okay to have fun. We can allow ourselves to have fun. So to double up on that, I'm adding inner child because inner child is all about playing, allowing ourselves to enjoy each moment rather than to create issues where we feel that we just have to work all the time. And that was my mindset for most of my life. Now that I've learned to live, or am learning, it's always a learning process, to live in the heart, things become more joyous. I am truly, truly enjoying every moment. And that's something that Stephen constantly reminds me of. He says, Francis, where are you on joy? Enjoying your life. And this brings me to the, these words that I call them Stephen's words. And I'm going to introduce them first a little bit rapidly because I don't want to keep you here all day but you may choose to write them down. They are in a particular order. And to find out if you're blocked on any of them. It is always annoying to me to find out when I'm a blocked on some that I think, I think that I'm really doing fine. And if I fail to recognize it myself, I'm very fortunate because I have Stephen to remind me, Francis, you're blocked in some areas. Have you checked? Well, sometimes I've checked, sometimes I haven't, so I'm not perfect either. But there are eight words that we're going to go through. The first one is can. And we're going to put, this is, these are all verbs, so I can. Am I clear on I can? Or have I in some part of my being blocked that? Now remember, use your kinesiology to find out. The first thing we're gonna do is just to find out. We're not working on clearing them. We're working on finding out. And later we will go back and we will go through each one of them by yourself, individually, and figure out which ones you may be blocked on at this moment. Now, it's very important to, for us to understand that what, we're, what happens right this minute is not necessarily true for what happens in five minutes or three minutes or even two minutes. Certainly not tonight. Things change rapidly. They change in an instant, in the blink of an eye. So we're going to check on I can. Often we say I can do something, but really deep in our hearts, we don't believe it. Ooh, I'm going to use some believe. Okay, that's an oil, as you all know, that I never ever am without because to me, that is my special oil and my very, very special blend. I would encourage you to find that special blend for you. It doesn't have to be believe, it could be, but whatever really brings things to you. Now that second word is I am. How often do we self-talk about where we are, what we are. I am, I am miserable. Hmm, 
that's not a good thing, is it? So I am, I am what? Are we blocked on anything with I am? The third word is will. I will do something. I will not do something if we're blocked. So while we may say I will do something, we may have some part of us that is blocking that from happening. So as we test and find out, this is going to bring us to a better place to focus. The next one is choose. I choose. Many, many things in our lives we feel have been chosen for us. Would you agree? We have the job responsibilities and we feel that we have no choice. The reality is we always have a choice and we can always choose differently. Every choice that we make in this moment is going to bring us to a new choice or new set of choices in the next moment. So I choose, are we blocked? Do we really feel that we have a choice or do we really feel that we are blocked on that? The next one is I have. Okay, I have. We may again think I have when in reality we're blocking what we choose to have in our lives. And the next one is love, I love. Are you blocking love from coming into your life? Is it that you do not feel that you deserve it? That, that was me for many, many years, most of my life, that I didn't deserve love. So I attempted to be someone that I wasn't because I felt that people would love me if I were different, that no one would love me if they knew what I was really like. Cedarwood, I'm going to use this one. I've used it several times this morning, but this is all about being authentic, taking off those masks, allowing your authentic self to shine through. There is only one you who was created with that magnificent set of knowledge and abilities to do something very special. And you are unique and you are powerful beyond your, your belief when you are your authentic self. When we're putting on masks for others and attempting to be like we think others would like for us to be, it doesn't do the same thing. So, we're getting close. We only have two more to go. We're now down to I create. How many of us truly believe that we can create whatever outcome we choose to have? This is an area where many of us are blocked quite, quite, quite often. I create because we do not truly believe that we can create our desired outcomes. Well, if we can't create them, who can? It all comes down to us. And our last one is, and this is one that I have been blocked most of my life on, and I have to constantly, constantly remind myself about this one. And that is, I enjoy. We make, we make demands on ourselves and then we push ourselves to do these demands without a thought of whether we are enjoying that particular moment. So which, which blend do you think might be a very helpful one for this? I just pulled this out. I have my complete 
Um, I have a whole lot of oils here right in front of me, and I have the Feelings Collection, but I also have Joy Blend. And interestingly, Joy Blend was not one that I chose to use often. When I first started using Young Living over 20 years ago, can you believe it? I smelled Joy and I, I thought, ooh, I don't like that. That should have been a dead giveaway right there because Joy is a beautiful blend However, because I didn't have a lot of joy in my life 20 years ago, I did not allow joy and I didn't like it. So Gary Young used to say, if I ever am in a position to get a crop duster, I will dust the world with joy. And I thought, oh, what an awful smelling thing. However, I now love the aroma of joy because there truly is. It has brought more joy into my life and into my every moment, my present moments. Now, I will challenge you to this week to select some oils to go through these eight words. I can, I am, I will. I choose, I have, I love, I create, and I enjoy. Checking often to see whether you are blocked in any of these areas and using oils, breathing them in, focusing upon the intent to clear those blocks. And I'm going to choose to carry with me of course, nobody's going to be surprised that believe is one of them, but present time. Because I am testing, I am checking where I am in each present moment, because those are the only moments we actually have. Would you agree? So have lots of fun this week and Checking in is often, see how often you can check in each day and see if you are surprised with the results. And come back and let us know. We are always in, interested in what you are doing. So have a wonderful week filled with lots of fun and joy. See you next week.